Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now, seeing as the debate was so good between whether you should get a 1.8 turbo or a 3.2 V6, I thought I would take it to another step and we go and discuss wheels. Now, seeing as I have a one-man car show and I also have three of the four uh, wheel types they would have come out in an 18, uh, from the factory, I thought this makes the perfect opportunity to have a discussion about it. I want to know what you like, what you don't like, and well, everything in between. Let's get into it. Now, if you've watched my channel long enough, you will know that I am a massive fan of the BBSs. That's why I bought them, that's why I changed the color, make them a bit more stand out, even though I didn't actually pick the color, the paint shop did. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a lucky dip on that one. But there is so many choices of wheel out there. Um, but the factory options are relatively limited. Now, when these came out, you of course had the nine spoke RS style. You had the Ronald V6 wheel, which is sort of a monoblocky looking style wheel. And you had the two piece RS2s. Now, there is also one other option that I haven't mentioned, and that is the Quattro Sport wheel. Now that, albeit limited because there was only a limited run of the Quattro Sports, there is less of those wheels available. And they also changed hands for a few quid more than the three you see here today. Um, the other options in 18s, debatably, arguably whether they left the factory with them or not, is the Votex wheel and the ABT wheel. Now I have probably only ever seen two ABT wheels or apt wheels in my life, um, so pretty rare. Votex, I've seen five or six sets, so they're out there, but they are not, we're talking common ground, we're talking what you see on a daily basis. When you close your eyes, what wheels do you see on your Dream TT? That is the kind of thing that we want to discuss today. Now, aftermarket wheels, there is a predator of aftermarket wheels. I'm not going to go into what's the best aftermarket wheel because that is personal choice. I wanted to just discuss the options that came from the factory. Now, there is some 17s and there is some 16s, albeit reasonably popular because they're cheap. Um, the only 17s that I'm a massive fan of is the comps, which is those five spokes polished, beautiful loveliness like fat fives that are just oh, I'm gonna have to buy some at some point but they are getting up in price and caring for them is that little bit harder and I'm not a massive fan of cleaning and polishing so from that perspective it's probably a no for me but then I also have a two-piece BBS wheel which is an absolute swine to clean so um, <laughs> but yeah I mean so predominantly you're gonna be seeing these two wheels the most based on factory options and then you've also got the, the BBSs, but they're less available, I guess, because it was probably quite a premium that when you bought these cars, they were gonna cost that bit more. Um, let me just give you a close up on each one and we'll have a little chat about it as we go. Okay, now technically these wouldn't have come on a factory car because these are actually 19s, which is kind of a reason why I wanted to film them because they are in an, an imposter and that center cap was Mastic tin, that's a whole nother discussion. I did not know that. Um, always interesting, especially when filming. Now, these have um, 10 bolt holes, which means they are non-genuine wheels. And this is quite a common thing to see because these were such a popular wheel, the RS style um, wheels, that they became quite copied aftermarket. So there is a good possibility that if you have a set of these, they might be aftermarket. The reason you can tell, they've got 10 volt holes. The original ones would have only had five. Um, very popular wheel. And I think what happened was when they released these and um, they came on TTs and everyone was loving them, there was such a buzz about them that a lot of people probably had these with 17 wheels, 17 inch wheels on and wanted these. And then suddenly the aftermarket realized that they could sell them cheap and they copied them. And here we have the wheels. Now I'll just, just rest this back on because it's probably not going to want to stay. That's definitely going to come flying off at some point. But yeah, so the RS wheel really popular. When the B5 RS4 come out, this wheel was the one to have. Really clean looking. If you showed someone a wheel without the center cap, they would know that that is an Audi wheel. Um, so RS style, let's move on to the V6. So next we have one of my personal favorites. This is the V6 Ronald wheel. Um, single piece construction in design, seven and a half inches wide which is unusual because the other two are actually eight inches. So these are slightly narrower. These, to my knowledge, because I don't know everything, um, these 
only came on V6 TTs. So I am an imposter by having them on my 225, but the reason I like them is they're strong and they're easy to clean because you can get your hand in there and just wash the face. Very popular wheel. I think because when the V6 come out, it had the additional stylings. It had the slightly better bumper. It had the grill until they brought it up on the facelift, uh, rear diffuser, spoiler extension, and the wheels. So obviously people wanted to then change their wheels and put on the V6 option. I'm a massive fan of them. Like I said, mainly because of the clean look. They've got that late 90s, early 2000 kind of Ronald look about them, uh, monoblock look about them. Ronalds. They are Ronalds, they're strong wheels. Um, and they're just a timeless design. When you think TT, you either think usually the RS style or the V6 monoblock. Now, let's move on to my favorite. What is it they say? Save the best till last. So here we have the BBS RS2s. Now these are of two piece construction. Uh, the center, center cap is also two pieces and made out of metal, which is unusual because most center caps are plastic. Now these wheels would have come from the factory usually with a silver or Avis center and then a polished or anodized lip. I'm not 100% sure diamond cut, anodized, polished, what it was, but it corroded it corroded and became a bit of a nightmare, hence why I've got them painted so then when I wash them I can just do this and I don't have to do any kind of polishing, putting treatments on them and all that kind of stuff. These have literally been ceramic coated and I hose them with some water. So, um, but yeah, these are a really popular option. These come out, I believe, later in the production of the um, Audi TT. Now, I don't know for certain because I was not old enough to drive when these come out, but you get the idea I've done some research over the years. Um, but these are my favorite wheel, not my favorite to clean <laughs> because obvious reasons, um, but they look the best and I haven't met anyone that doesn't like them whether they're just paying me lip service and being nice because I'm a YouTuber and I'll film them or uh, whether they just like them. But, but yeah, lovely looking wheel, really popular, expensive now. Um, why not cover prices? So on the RS, we're probably looking at a set of, we'll say for all of them, good with tires. So good quality, not too many bubbles, paint, scratches, curbs, and uh, brand name half used tires. So you can put them straight on the car, they look good. Um, so the RS is you're probably looking at, I reckon four to five hundred pound for a really nice set. The Ronalds, four, three, three and a half hundred to four and a half hundred ish for a nice set. Um, these are probably like seven or eight hundred pound for a nice set, maybe more because to refurb these is like five hundred and fifty pounds if you get them done properly. So quite a difference, and you can see why these would be less popular. Now the Quattro Sport wheels. They are a little bit different because they are the only staggered wheel that came on a TT from the factory, not including the ABT and Votex. Um, so these would have had an eight inch on the front and an 8.5 inch on the rear. The offset was also lower, which means they stuck out that bit further. So you were less likely to need spacers. Now, all three of these, I would fit spacers on. These two have both got 20 mil on the rear and 15 on the front. Uh, the silver one I actually haven't got round to, to buying any yet, so <laughs> that will have when I do them because it gives it that nice sort of flush look that when you stand and look down, you get that nice arch filled look. So, whereas with the Quattro Sport, they were naturally that bit wider, so they sit in nice, they had that real presence and they looked very good. Very popular, but again, being a multi spoke is a bit of a uh, bugger to clean. They also are a lot more expensive because if you say, for instance, there was less than a thousand QSs made, I think. Real, really should have researched this before doing the video, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> but they were available, but obviously on a limited run. And most people wouldn't have broken or taken the wheels off a QS because they had a QS. Now, the people that have taken the wheels off the QS or have broken them or crashed them or whatever, the wheels go for a premium. Now I've seen them sell for well over a thousand pound in a really nice condition. So the likelihood of someone actually buying them is again quite low because of the cost. Now they do do, they do do, they do do a replica again, which was again very popular. It's quite a good quality one as well from memory because I had a set on this when it got bought, um, but one of them was actually had a few dents in. Um, but then to be fair, if you saw this Nagaro Blue TT when I bought it, it was a bit rough. Um, and that had uh, the QS star wheels on. They weren't staggered, so you know they're not genuine, uh, but they look really nice. And it's kind of, if you like multi-spoke wheels like your Team Dynamics and stuff like that, 
a really popular wheel. Um, moving on quickly to the 17s and 16s. Now there is um, loads of different options. Usually you would have found on say, for instance, a 225 or a 180 that you would have had um, 17s or 16s, maybe on a 150 edition or a convertible. Sometimes they had the smaller wheels or winter wheels. Now with the 17s, really, like I said, really, really popular as in they came on the cars quite a bit. And I think that was probably to A, keep the cost down and B, if you're buying a lesser spec, maybe you didn't want to spend six, eight hundred pounds on a set of wheels. The 16s and 17s will give a more comfier ride because you'll have a slightly higher tire profile. Um, all of these run usually a stock of 22540, whereas on the 17s, it's probably something like a 225 I guess. I haven't had 17 inch wheels in probably 10 years, so. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but the comps are probably the only wheel I'm a massive fan of. There is one other set, I can't remember what they're called, but they look a bit like the, the Ronalds and they're flat, but they have like a slight divot in the spokes. Quite a nice looking wheel. Look quite nice on a convertible for some reason, or a Roadster, Cabriolet. Um, but yeah, that is, is kind of OEM wheel choices. Now, Everyone prefers something a bit different, whether you like the RS style, because that is what Audi, when you say Audi, that is what people think. Um, whether it's the, the Ronalds, because you love the V6, you love that late 90s, early 2000s kind of monoblock style, or you're like me and just like easy to clean wheels that look good. Um, or you want something a bit snazzy that when it's going round, will look wicked, it's two piece, and it gives you an, at least an hour a weekend of cleaning. Um, <laughs> or you want the multi-spoke QSs because you've got a few quid and you love uh, doing this for ages and ages trying to clean them all. But, but wheels aside, I want to know what you like. Now, everyone likes something different. Like I said, I love these because they are iconic. They're BBSs, they're met, they're come on the Audi from factory, which I think is wicked. That's why I needed a set. Um, would I have more than one set? I, well, I, that's, I shouldn't say that actually because I've got two sets, one in the garage, but I was going to put some on that, but then once fitting on them on this, I've decided that I'd don't want to have more than one set but I love them they're my personal choice but I like having all the different options because I think it's cool to have what they should have come on from the factory now let me know what you think what have you got what do you prefer do you prefer the OEM choice do you think any aftermarket wheel doesn't look as good and I mean now these are appreciating they're obviously going up in value because the price has kind of gone they're gradually down hit that base price and now we're on the steady climb again hopefully um, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep telling my missus anyway. Yeah, we're making money, babe. These in the future, these will be worth loads of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, keeping the factory, it just it keeps it iconic. Um, they are a sought after car, and for me, it's got to be the RSs. Let me know what you think. And also, do you like the color? I'm still on the fence about it. I love it, but there's something about me that thinks bronze. You know, bronze. Yeah. Well, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the description and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.